so hi there. Welcome everybody to a new series called The Town of Light. Wow, that was actually a lot more louder than I thought it was. <laughs> but anyways, as I was saying, or as I was about to say, um, before we get into this series, I just want to let out a little warning. Well, I'm definitely going to put a warning before starting the video about uh, this particular game which I have played before, very beautifully done game, uh, really nice architect and everything, story-wise was just absolutely heartbreaking, and it's just, it's just a very heavy game. I'm really not gonna pull much jokes on this series, well, knowing me, you know, I, I tend to fuck around like that <laughs> as much, you know, just to keep, a. Uh, the mood much more you know uplifting since this is a very dark game which deals with a uh, very heavy stuff like uh, mental illness abuse and just people being just evil man it's just it's just awful but this game does a phenomenal job of just making you see through the eyes of a mental patient back in the 1940s 1950s i believe so somewhere in um somewhere in europe which they say was um wasn't a good time to be a mental patient well without further ado i guess we'll just get started <clears throat> words uh, like I said before this game does deal with very heavy topics so uh, please be advised before um, watching this gameplay other than that just enjoy to an extent of course What's happened? What is this place? Maybe... Maybe I'm dead. I can't see any light. Maybe I am dead. I can't get up. What's going on? What's happening to me? There's no one here. But... These noises... can't keep my eyes open. Reality fades away from its night gone. Every breath of wind is excruciatingly painful. Wow. Damn. Inspired by true events. Oh. We we're back in 2016. Nice. Well, it has been a while since I haven't played this game, so there's some things where I can't remember. So, you know, there's just going to be here and there. Some things are going to surprise me. Some things aren't going to surprise me. Like I said before, the atmosphere in this game is just very nice. Very beautifully done. <gasps> there's a fucking swing. Oh, the fucking swing is right there. There's a goddamn bench right there just to watch and chill everything oh there's even this fucking uh what do, what do you call these uh seesaws type of things where you could just jump can i jump on them oh you can Wee! can i go up oh my god you can Wee! Wee! <laughs> oh god it's just like my childhood oh man uh, with nobody to play with anyways moving on from that Anyways, what do we got here? We got the little sandbox. That's pretty cool. We got the little, um... Oh, we got these little things. Oh, my God. I forgot that you could contract with these. Oh, my God. <laughs> Alright, 
right, I have enough of that. Okay, what else? Oh my god, there's a fucking slide right there. Two. Can I get up? Oh, yes I can. Yes I can. Here I go. <laughs> ah, awesome. <laughs> Yeah, before I leave, let me just get on the slut. Let me get on the swing real quick. Yep. Awesome. You know what's the best part, though? The developers didn't even need to do this at all. They could just have made it um, non-interactable at all. But you know what? They said, no. You know what? Let, let, the, let the player have fun before we drown them with <laughs> the realization of depression and what really happened. Back in Europe, <laughs> back in those dark times where um, you uh, really didn't want to be a mental patient back then, which was kind of scary. Alright, like I said, moving on from that. That was actually quite fun, but on to the story. Oh, it's my little flashlight. I didn't even notice that. Huh, neat. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Flashlight? Ah, oh, shit, we're gonna go to some dark, creepy places, aren't we? Mm. My god, is there a sprint button? No? Not that I could remember. Da 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 da. Not a sprint button. No. Oh, what? what's this? Alright. It's a diary of what the. Dialogue just said before. Okay. Alright. Our diary, memories, medical records. Oh. Okay. That's pretty interesting. Right. What do we got here? It's been unlocked. Okay. Let me see. Haha, -ha, I already got that too. I already got that before you told me, game. Smarted the game. What's in here? Nothing. Whole bunch of nothing. That's alright though. Huh. What, what, what is this fucking uh, Resident Evil Village? Where I just open a cabinet and there's nothing in there? <laughs> uh, good game though. Good game. Still working on it. Still editing and shit. But it takes a while. Anyways, what's on the radio? Do I need to put some batteries in here? And also a mixtape. Let me see that. Nothing here. Nothing. A whole bunch of nothing. Well, I could definitely see where Resident Evil Village got their inspiration of just making anything available but yet having nothing in there yeah wait can i just put my mixtape in there real quick all right enough of that stop fucking around let's just take the game seriously now oh shit <laughs> the fucking door just smacked me right in the face just basically telling me hey stop fucking around take this game seriously now all right all right I'll take it seriously as best as I can. Just trying to light up the mood. Alright, let me see what we got here. Planks. Okay. I could open that. Should I shut the gate? Uh, yeah, let's, let's not be... Let's not be assholes. Let me leave the gate. Oh. Alright, that just came out of nowhere. presents the town of light nice i don't know why but i've always liked it whenever games introduce their um introduce themselves like that i don't know why it's just like yeah i know i'm i'm already playing this game you know you re i already saw the box that i'm playing this game i already saw when i logged into it that i'm playing this game but i don't know it just seems kind of neat whenever they do that I don't know, it just might be me. 
I don't know if anybody else can relate, but spoke me a bit. But other than that, let's just still get into it. This place. I really hope this music Time. isn't copyrighted at all. Memory. But either ways, I'm still gonna put the uh the description of the music playing. Hang on, what, what did I say? What the f***? What I meant to say was that I was going to put the song in the description. Jesus Christ, what the hell did I have? Stroke? Huh. My God, maybe I should be the one in here. <laughs> oh, shit. My God. This just turned, this just went from Resident Evil Village to freaking Outlast real quick. Let me see, is there anything familiar? Oh, zoom in, zoom out. Yeah, can I check the back? No? These are just pictures from the old times. That's cool. Alright, awesome. I just found me five cents a pound. They're called pounds over there, right? Yeah, I believe they're called pounds. Yeah, euros. There we go. Euros. 20 euros. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Alright, enough exploring that. I'm gonna leave it where it's at because I am not a thief. I am not a thief. Okay. Na, 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 na. Awesome, awesome. This. Okay, June 15, 1937. Died November 8, 1942. Ah, oh, how sad. Man. Honestly, that's just gotta be one of the worst uh, possible ways to die. It's just um, being trapped. Like in a place like this, you know, being forgotten by your family and just, you know, having nowhere out, it's just, that's, that's just very, very, um, disturbing for me in a way. Mm. Although I do like to apologize though, there is going to be a lot of jump cuts to this, uh, gameplay. Because, well, mostly, it is a very serious game. It is also, in fact, a very slow game. So, you know, if one minute, you know, I'm just over here. Next minute, I'm over here. You know, it, it, there's going to be a lot of that in uh, this particular series, you know. God, that's just always um, creepy. You could just hear it, the footsteps. I know it's an abandoned... Asylum and everything But it's just that's so freaking creepy to me All right, I'm not sure what we're supposed to do. Are we supposed to turn on the power or something? Oh. Oh. What's good, Nyoka? Green light needs go Question is to where? appears to be uh, some kind of village and in the background there's a clock tower right there 
Okay, oh, that's unique, that's unique. What about here? Oh, I think it's the same thing. Okay. Alright, alright. Is this the... The main... The main building or something? I'm not sure. Right, let's just, uh... Oh, you could, uh... Could turn it. Alright, okay. Right, other buildings, other buildings, okay. There's another one right there. Alright, and I think that's the end of it. Alright, cool. That was actually pretty neat. My god, what the fuck is that? Is that is that our doll, Charlotte? Mummy took good care of Charlotte. She tucked her in, hugged her, gave her cuddles and kisses. She was very affectionate and loving. Nothing bad happened to Charlotte, and that surprised me. I didn't understand. At first, I was quite scared. I was afraid that she wanted to hurt me. I lived in constant fear that Mom would abandon her. Because I didn't deserve to live. I didn't deserve to be loved. It's cold and it's dark. Look, she's cold. She'll get ill. We can take care of her. Nobody can stop us. Charlotte is a good girl. Okay, yeah, let me remind you guys that this is not a horror game. <laughs> it, it appears to be a horror game right now, but I could assure you that it's not a horror game. It, it's really not. It's it's a very it's a very oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh boy. I swear to you guys, it's not a horror game. It just kind of appears as a horror game, but it's not. Oh my god. Oh, shit. Yo. Oh. Dude. I stand by my statement. <laughs> it is not a horror game. It, it is not. It, it is, well, in a way, I mean, it is technically a horror game. Not like a fucking, oh, psycho killers are gonna come and, you know, uh, rape me in the booty hole or anything like that. But it's more like a um, tragic type of horror game of what really happened to these people back in the 1940s. Because back then in the 1940s, it's just, it was so, so, I, I can't even say barbaric, because that's something that they believed in back then. The type of medicine that they were doing and practicing, because they just wanted to make the people feel better and shit. Those lamps could make the room warmer, but Charlotte's not happy. She doesn't feel well. Not a horror game. Anyways, uh, let's just uh try to find something else. What do, what do you want me to do? Do Charlotte? Okay, new experience. Let me see. Da 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 da. Okay. Nope. Memories. Okay. Of her mother. Alrighty. Okay. Charlotte is cold. Let's take her somewhere warm. Well, I'm trying to. 
But you say she doesn't like it in here, so I'm trying to find somewhere warm. And somewhere she'll like. Oh, does she go with the elevator? No? Okay. How about... Da -da -da -da. Come on. I saw a wheelchair on the ground floor. It's comfortable there, and we can put Charlotte somewhere warm. Oh, okay. Oh, thank you for that. Uh, wheelchair. Holy shit. Now, if you could excuse my blind ass, but I'm trying to find this wheelchair that you speak of. Da -da -da, da -da -da -da. Watch it be right in my face. And I just surpassed it multiple times, but I'm too much of a dummy to notice. Let me see, wheelchair, wheelchair, is it on the bottom floor? I think so, on the bottom floor, most likely. I'm just gonna go check that out. Aha, ah, there it is. I see you, don't worry, Charlotte. I'm about to place you right here. You Charlotte will be comfy here, but it's cold. No, no, it's cold. Don't shiver, Charlotte. The cold will go away. It'll go away. Don't worry, Charlotte. I'll get you the warm. Just uh, don't slit my throat when um when you finally come alive. Okay, in the middle of the night. You goddamn creepy ass Chucky, Chucky sister looking motherfucker. All right, cool. The elevator's here. All right, come on, Charlotte. Let's just uh, let's just go. Charlotte, you're still in the chair, right? Okay, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> oh god, I gotta remind myself that it is not a horror game. It is not a horror game. Oh man. All right, Charlotte. I'll uh, see you on top. BRB. Dumbass! All right, you enjoy your stay. Please let her be in the chair. Please let her be in the chair. Please still let her be in the chair. Please let her be in the chair. My God, that would uh, that I I particularly remember that this game is not a horror game. Not again. Not like a fucking murderers are gonna come and fucking rape me and kill me and shit. The but... cold has gone away now. You see, the light, the warmth. We can do it. The cold will go away. It has to. Now we can enter the ward where everything started. It all began in the observation ward on the ground floor. Alright, bye Charlotte. Please, please stay in the chair in the warmth and don't come at me with a giant butcher knife. Okay, bye. Alright. It all began in the... In the observation ward on the ground floor. Okay, let's get to it. game this is not a horror game this is not a horror game this is not a horror game oh god jesus christ oh damn. what in the obsession bullshit is this i promise you all i do not remember any of this shit i do not at all God, this is some trippy shit. God, this is what people with with like severe mental illness see and experience every single day. My God, hell yeah, 
motherfucker, if I was seeing this shit and this is what's happening to me, bro, I'll Monday, go crazy too. I turned off the light, but it didn't go dark. It was a limitless immensity, a blinding, merciless light. I was 16 years old, and I was afraid, always afraid, a fear that wore me down. I needed help, but I couldn't speak. I was terrified of everything, even thinking. They said they were taking me to a place where the fear would go away, where I would get better. I stopped living in there. They dragged me away and stripped off all my clothes, everything. I tried to explain what was going on in my head. They tied me to the bed for days. I was alone with my nightmares. It wasn't fear anymore. It was madness. And when you're mad, you cease to exist. Jesus fucking Christ. No wonder people went absolutely batshit in one of those places. If that's how they treated them, my god. Just... She was my only hope in this hell. I was descending down, down among the damned. But that woman and her smile kept me alive. Jesus. What the hell? Oh shit. Now this is where the fun really begins. <laughs> My motherfucking god. That is just some crazy shit. <clears throat> wow. I'm not I'm not even sure what to say to that man. It's just it's just wow. Like my god, dude, how could how could people do that shit? Well, I get it, yeah, you know, it's back in the 1940s, and, you know, they were very, um, shit, what's the right word, um, limited with the medical practice that they use, and, you know, they thought they were doing the right thing, it turns out, they weren't, and, yeah, that's just a very sad sight to see. As I said, it was, um... Very horrible times to be a mental patient in, in, and anywhere actually. Just being a mental patient in general back in those days where we were less educated about mental health. It's just the shit that people went through and the shit that people are dealing with right now. Instead of the fucking help that they should have gotten, they tied them down to a bed and... Hopefully, their fucking trauma, whatever they got going through their head, would go away. Which, unfortunately, does not happen. But, I think I'm just going to wrap it up here. Well, anyways, you guys, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, I'm not really the type of person that says leave a like, subscribe, comment. Nah, that's kind of too corny for me. You know, if you enjoy my content, awesome. I'm glad to hear it. But if you don't... Well, I'm sorry to hear about that, but like I said, in all my other videos, thank you all so much. I hope you keep having a wonderful day, and I'll see you when I see you.